एवरीवन इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट गोशन एलिमिनेशन मेथड ओके सो दिस इज न्यू टॉपिक एडेड इन द गेट सिलेबस ऑफ लीनियर एलजेब्रा ओके सो प्रीवियसली इट वाज नॉट देयर फॉर अदर कोर्स फॉर अदर सब्जेक्ट्स बट या ओनली वन क्वेश्चन आई फाउंड इन द प्रीवियस ईयर गेट क्वेश्चन सो दैट इज सिंपल बट वील ट्राई टू डिस्कस दिस कंसेप्ट राइट so what is this method so gaussian elimination is a method for solving system of linear equations right so we have discussed how to solve homogeneous linear equation and non homogeneous linear equation right and here in gaussian elimination method we can solve this equation by transforming the augmented matrix to a of a system into a row echelon form right so in in the previous case also we have converted this augmented matrix into row echelon form and we have calculated the rank of the matrix right and then we are compare it with so here in this case we need to find out the value of x y z right once we convert it into a row which run form then back substituting to find out the values of the variables okay so we'll see how this method works so this is the system of linear equation given to us now i need to convert this into a matrix form that is basically ax equals to b right so a is basically a coefficient matrix right so that is 2 3 Minus one, four, seven, two, minus two, five, two. Right? X is a variable matrix that is x, y, z. That is x, y, and z. And B is basically a constant matrix. That is one, three, seven. That is one, three, seven. Right? Now, in this matter, we need to consider the augmented matrix that is A augment B matrix. Right? And then we need to convert into a row echelon form. So what is row echelon form? It's basically convert into upper triangular matrix, right? So we try to convert it into upper triangular matrix. Okay. Let's see how we can convert this into upper triangular matrix. Okay. So first consider augment matrix that is A augment B. Okay. So it will be two three minus one two three minus one four seven two. Four seven two minus two five two and here a B matrix will be one three seven. That is one three seven, right? Now how to convert this particular matrix into row echelon form? So for that we have one method, right? So first I need to convert this element to zero, then 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 this element to zero, and then this element to zero, right? So in this way, I need to convert all the elements to zero, or we'll try to see how many elements we can convert it to zero, right? So that is basically a row echelon form. So in order to convert this element to zero, right? So what we do, we what we do, we take the help of this specific row that is R one, right? So in this case, what we can do, we can do one thing because anyway, we need to uh, convert this into zero. So what I am doing, I am making this coefficient of this particular uh row to one so how to do that by just simply dividing by two so dividing r1 by two it means r1 changing to r1 by two so what i will get so it is simply one three by two minus one by two one by two so four seven two three minus two five two Seven, right? Now, once I made this particular uh, value one, right? Now I can simply convert these two elements to zero. How? So R two will change to R two minus of four into R one. I need. I just simply need to multiply with this particular row, and R three will change to R three. It is minus two, right? So R three plus twice of R one, right? So R minus two plus two will be zero, right? So if I do this row operation what i will get so first row will be as it is right 1 by 2 so r2 will change to r2 minus 4 r1 so 4 minus of uh, 4 r1 that is 4 into 1 that is 0 7 minus of 3 into 2 by 4 that is basically a 6 so that is 1 so 2 minus of 4 uh, into minus 1 by 2 So basically, minus minus will get plus, so it will be around a uh, four, right? And what about what about this? So three minus four of a uh, half, that is basically two. So three minus two is one, right? Now same here, minus two plus twice of r one, that is zero. Five 
plus uh, twice of r that is 8 2 minus of 1 by 2 that is uh, 1 right so that is 1 2 minus 1 and here 7 plus twice of half that is 8 right so this is how we will get the matrix right right now now i need to make this element to 0 so with the help of r2 so r3 will change to r3 minus 8 of r r2 here right so what i will get 1 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 right so 0 1 4 1 0 so 8 minus of 8 into 1 that is 0 so 1 minus of 4 into 8 that is minus 31 and here 8 a minus of it that will be 0 right now can i reduce this particular element to 0 now by using r1 no because if i try to make this particular element to 0 to r1 then this element will become non zero i don't want so so basically we cannot further reduce it to a row echelon form matrix right so this is the lowest uh, way we can reduce the matrix right we can reduce in the echelon form row echelon form right so after that what we need to do according to a gaussian elimination method we simply need to do the resubstitution now so how to do the how, the, how to do the resubstitution so this will be my a right so a will be like this one three by two minus one by two so zero zero one zero four minus thirty one this will be my a so here i need to resubstitute x y z and equals to this is minus sorry one by two one and zero right so from this uh, last row i can easily tell minus 31 into z equals to 0 it means z equals to 0 right so i got the value of z to 0 now from this row i will get y plus 4 z equals to 1 right but the value of z equals to 0 so from this i will get y equals to 1 right now from the first row x plus 3 by 2 y minus half of z equals to 1 by 2 but the value of z is 0 so this will become 0 uh, y equals to 1 so it is 3 by 2 so x will become 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 it will be minus 2 by 2 that is x equals to minus 1 so this will be my answer z equals to 0 y equals to 1 and x equal to minus 1 will be my solution for this particular linear equation right so this is how we calculate so this is how we apply the gaussian elimination method in order to find out the value of the variables right or to find out the solution of a particular uh, equations right so i hope you understand this particular concept of gaussian elimination right right so there is one question from the previous gate exam okay so this is the previous uh year not previous year it's a, a old question like so in the gaussian elimination for solving system of linear algebraic equation triangularization leads to what triangular matrix lower triangular matrix upper triangular matrix singular matrix so the correct option is option c right so that is what we have discussed upper triangular matrix okay so only one question has been asked up till now but you need to understand how this method works right because i don't think they will ask such type of question because if we need to find out the value of x y z then we can simply uh, put it from the option right but it is any type of question then in that case you need to find out the otherwise you can simply put the values in uh, from the option in the equation and we see which one is satisfied right so that's it so i hope you understand this particular method okay so thank you